So welcome students and this is part 2 of our competitive exam question papers. See here the first question that was being given here and this question asked in need. What is this question? A conducting sphere of radius 20 cm is given a charge Q is equal to 16 micro coulomb. What is the electrical field at its center? So you are having a conducting sphere and the radius of the conducting sphere they have given it out as 20 cm. At the center you are asked to calculate the electrical field. If the charge given Q is equal to 16 into 10 to the power of minus 6 coulomb. See, according to the application of the Gaussian surface, we have studied that the electrical field inside a hollow sphere is equal to 0. So, the option is answer C. Why? So, I can say according to the application of the Gauss law, we have stated that according to the application of the Gauss law, we have studied that the electric field the electric field inside the conducting sphere inside a conducting sphere is zero inside a conducting sphere is zero so we have got the option as what so we have got the option as option c so, the problem number 2, it was considered a charged particle of mass m and a charge q is initially at rest. If it is initially at rest, we can say u equal to 0. In an electrical field of magnitude E, the magnitude available for the electrical field is E, you are asked to calculate what is the kinetic energy of what? Kinetic energy after a time of t seconds. The kinetic energy of the charged particle after a time of t seconds is asked. See, if you want to calculate the kinetic energy, the kinetic energy is generally given by the formula half into m into v square. So, I have to calculate v. See, from the equations of motion, I can write it out as v is equal to u plus a t. When you are saying that V is equal to U plus A T, U initially at rest. Therefore, I can write V is equal to A into T. Consider this as equation number 1. How I can able to get this acceleration? You see, a charged quantity, a charge of quantity Q is released in an electrical field. So, inside the electrical field, if a charged particle is um, released, then force on the charged particle can be calculated. Force on the charge is equal to, we can write it out as E into Q. In general, we can say force is equal to mass into acceleration. So what is the acceleration of that charged particle? Acceleration, we can write it out as EQ divided by M. So take this as equation number 2. Take the second equation and substitute it in the first equation. So, substituting in equation 1, what will be the answer? So, velocity will be equal to, I can get the answer as Eq divided by m into t. Take this equation and substitute it here to calculate what? Cal to calculate kinetic energy. Therefore, Kinetic energy will be then equal to half into m into instead of v square I can substitute here as e square q square t square divided by m square. So one of the m will get cancelled. So what will be the answer? Then the kinetic energy will be then equal to e square 
then q square t square divided by 2m so the option is what the option is the option b as the answer so we can say option b as what as the answer option b as the answer hope you should have understood this and this was being asked in the cmc question paper i was not able to know the year but it was being asked in the cmc question paper so let us go for the next question the question number 3 what is the question number 3 you are having two charges one is plus 5 micro coulomb and another one is plus 10 micro coulomb and they are placed 20 cm apart the electrical field at the midpoint between the two charges see this was being asked in aipmt previously the neat was being called like aipmt all india pre medical pre dental so in that question paper they have asked this question so let us draw a diagram we are having two point charges one we are considering it as plus 5 micro coulomb and another point charge it was considered to be plus 10 micro coulomb and the two charges are separated by a distance of 20 cm you have to consider the electrical field at its midpoint i am taking o as the midpoint and at this midpoint what is the total electrical field that was the uh, concept asked see due to this plus 5 micro coulomb the electrical field at this point will be acting away from the positive charge let us consider it as e1 similarly due to this plus 10 micro coulomb the electrical field at this point is acting in this direction let us consider it as e2 now the distance between them is considered to be total distance is 10 cm so this distance we can consider it as 10 cm and the remaining distance we can again consider it as another 10 cm so what is the net electrical field at the center the net electrical field at the center e not is equal to we have studied like this e vector is equal to the vector sum of individual electrical fields according to the principle of superposition if i am considering the magnitude e not is equal to this e1 and e2 acting are considered to be acting in two opposite side directions so the net electrical field is e1 minus e2 and the resultant electrical field is in the direction of the greater magnitude let us calculate what is this value e0 is then equal to e1 what is the electrical field at this point o due to this plus 5 micro coulomb so 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 into instead of q1 i can write 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by what is this distance that is 10 into 10 power minus 2 the whole square minus what is the next value e that is the electrical field at this point o due to plus 10 micro coulomb again i can write 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 10 into 10 power minus 6 whole divided by what i can write 10 into 10 power minus 2 the whole square that is when you are considering this we can say that this is e1 and this is e2 since e1 and e2 are in opposite side direction given in the figure i have subtracted after this i am writing it here okay see simplify how to simplify this e0 is equal to difference in between the two therefore e0 is equal to take the common factor i can write 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 into see this um, 10 even the denominator can be taken as common so i am taking this also as common factor that is 1 divided by 
100 into 10 power minus 4. 100 into 10 power minus 4 is again 10 power minus 2. Then, what is the remaining? The remaining 10 power minus 6 can be also taken out. So, 5 minus 10. Okay, 5 minus 10. So, 5 minus 10 is minus 5. How I can write this value? I can write it out as 9 into 10 to the power of 9. Multiplied with, on cancelling these two, I can write it out as 10 power minus 4. Multiplied it with minus 5. So, 9 into 5, I will be getting it as 45. That is, with a negative sign, 45. Multiplied it with 10 to the power of 5 Newton per Coulomb. See, when I am writing the magnitude, I can write this as E0 is equal to 4.5 multiplied with what? Multiplied it with 10 power 6 Newton per Coulomb. What is the direction? It is minus. Minus means negative x-axis. Negative x-axis means it is acting towards plus 5 micro coulomb. So I can I so I can say what I can say? I can say that this E0 is acting along. This E0 is acting along plus 5 micro coulomb. That was the answer. Are you able to understand? So when I am considering this, that is the question number 3. See two charges, when I am considering the plus 5 micro coulomb and minus 5 micro coulomb, I can state that, okay, plus 5 micro coulomb and minus 5 micro coulomb, sorry, my plus 5 micro coulomb and 10 micro coulomb, I have told that they are 20 centimeter apart, the electrical field at the midpoint is being asked. So first of all, I have drawn a diagram. And from this diagram, the net electrical field at the center is calculated using the formula or using the superposition principle that according to the superposition principle, the net electrical field at the point O is the, the vector sum of the two. When you are considering the vector sum of the two, we can say here both the electrical fields are in opposite side direction. So when I am taking the um, uh, summation, vector sum, E Z0 is equal to E1 minus E2. On simplifying, I am getting the answer. So, which one is the option 4.5 into 10 power 6 Newton per Coulomb towards plus 5 micro Coulomb. So, option C is the answer. Hope you should have understood this problem. Okay, let us move on to the next problem now. So, the next question, we have to go with the question number 4. What is that question number 4? There is an electrical field in the x direction. So let us consider an electrical field E acting along the x direction. What is the work done? You are asked to calculate what is the work done. In moving a charge, so the charge moved it is given as 0.2 coulomb through a distance of, so let us consider the distance as S, the distance of 2 meter along the line joining or along the line making an angle theta equal to 60 degree with the axis is 4 joules so work done is given so work done we are considering it as 4 joule then what it is asked you are asked to calculate what is the electrical field that is acting along the x-axis that was the question see in general, we can say that the work done W is equal to F dot S, F vector dot S vector. So, work done can be written as F dot S means modulus of F vector, modulus of S vector into cos theta. That was the magnitude of the work done. Now, you are asked to calculate E. How you can write F then? The force acting on the charge due to the electrical field. But we know that the force acting on the charge due to the electrical field is E into Q. Therefore, work done W is equal to, instead of F, I can write E into Q into S into cos theta. 
you are asked to calculate what you are asked to calculate the electrical field e so it is w divided by what is the value w uh, w divided by take the other values here q then s into cos theta come on substitute the values w what done is considered to be 4 divided by q it is given to be 0 0.2 multiplied it with s s is considered to be 2 meters multiplied it with what is cos cos 60 i can write sin 30 is equal to cos 60 is equal to 1 by 2 so cos 60 i am taking it as 1 by 2 this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled here then what will be the answer then electrical field E will be then equal to see when you are multiplying numerator and denominator with the 10 you will be getting 40 divided by 2 so the electrical field e is equal to 20 Newton per coulomb as the answer with simple problem that was being asked in what that was being asked in AIPMT previously which is the need so let us move on to the next problem what is the next problem the next one is problem number five an electron is moving around the nucleus of an hydrogen atom in a circular orbit of radius r the coulomb force capital f between the two between the electron and the nucleus s how you can able to get the coulomb force between the electron and the nucleus in general we can draw a diagram like this at the center you are having the nucleus the charge of the nucleus is z into e or you can say it out as plus e if it is an hydrogen atom only one proton so plus e and if you are considering the electron you will be having only one electron that is taken to be minus e see you are asked to calculate the coulomb force between them so we can write the coulomb force is generally given by the formula force f is equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q1 into q2 divided by square of the distance r square how you can able to write this as see we can write f equal to this 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 according to the answer it was being given as k then charge of the nucleus is plus e charge of the electron is considered to be minus e divided by what is the radius the radius is considered to be r so i can write it out as r square when i am taking the direction i have to write it out as r cap how i can write this equation i can write like this k into e square and the minus is taken in the uh, front side divided by r square into r cap but i am writing this r cap as r vector so r vector means r into r uh, right like this r vector is equal to the value of magnitude r into r cap or we can write r vector divided by r is equal to a vector quantity divided by its own magnitude is considered to be unit vector so using this concept what i am writing instead of r cap i am writing r vector so the magnitude is increased by r so i am dividing it with another r so this r square will become r cube the remaining as it is minus k into e square so what is the answer minus of k into e square divided by r cube into r vector so option c as the answer so we can say the option c as what option c as the answer this is taken to be what this is taken to be problem number five so let us move on to the next problem what is the next problem problem number six it was considered two pit balls carrying equal charges are suspended from a common point by strings of equal length 
the equilibrium separation between them is small r. That was the first diagram. Now the strings are rigidly clamped at half the original height. So if the original height is y, then y dash will be then equal to what? y dash will be then equal to y divided by 2. The height is reduced to half. The equilibrium separation between the balls now is originally the separation is considered to be r. After it was being clamped at half of the height, what is the separation between the two pith balls? That was the question. See, when you are considering the case 1, let us take this case 1. Here, the force that is acting vertically downwards is considered to be m into g. Then these two pith balls are considered to be rippling each other. So the force acting along the horizontal direction is considered to be the electrostatic force or Coulomb force. We can write that as Fe. So let us take this as what? Let us take this as case 1. And let us take this as case 2. When you are considering case 2, this angle, that is when the height is reduced to half of original. So y dash. Y dash I am writing it as y divided by 2. What happens? The two pith balls are getting separated. What is the amount of separation? They are separated to a new distance called to be r dash and that r dash has to be calculated. See what happens when the two pith balls are repelling each other again. Along this we are able to get the electrostatic force. I am writing it as Fe. Let us write. Now the electrostatic force will be different from that of the previous case. So I am writing it as Fe dash. But m into g is same as that of the previous case. So I am writing it as m into g. Now from case 1 by considering this diagram you calculate what is the value of tan theta. You calculate what is the value of what? What is the value of tan theta? So when you are considering the value of tan theta, okay, what is the answer? What is the value of tan theta? Come on, opposite side divided by adjacent side. Then you can write tan theta is equal to, what is the value of tan theta? I can, okay, see I am, okay, it's a small adjustment, sorry. Tan theta, what is tan theta? Opposite side divided by adjacent side. Opposite side, what is the value of opposite side? Opposite side is here, when you are considering this opposite side, this is taken to be Fe. If I am taking this, here also I can write this theta. Here also I can, if I am extending this, here also I can write this theta. If so, opposite side, I am writing it as Fe divided by adjacent side, I am considering it as Mg. This is in the first case. Similarly, in the second case also, you calculate tan of that angle. Tan of that angle is tan theta dash. What is the value of tan theta dash? Tan theta dash is, again, you can say the same phenomena, Fe dash divided by what? Divided by m into g. So, you make a cross multiplication from equation 1 and equation 2. So, I am writing it here. Therefore, from equation 1, I can write Fe is equal to mg into tan theta. Am I correct? Similarly, I can write it for Fe dash. So cross multiply, you will be getting Fe dash is equal to mg into tan theta dash. Now you divide one by the other. That is take this as third and this as the fourth, fourth equation divided by third equation Fe dash divided by Fe is equal to Fe dash we can say that mg into tan theta dash divided by Fe we can say it out as mg into tan theta. So what you can able to get you can cancel this mg and this mg will get cancelled. What is this Fe dash? Fe dash, electrostatic force or Coulomb force. The constant K, 
then one of the charge is considered to be q another charge is also q so q dash divided by f e dash means it is separated by a distance of r dash so the distance square r dash square divided by what is f e time state the force between these two in first, as in first case the constant k q dash divided by instead of r dash square this is r dash square you will be getting it as r square is equal to what is the value of tan theta opposite by adjacent so opposite in the opposite in the second case is r dash by 2 so i am writing r dash divided by 2 by what is the isn't it r dash divided by 2 is the opposite side what is the adjacent side adjacent side i can consider it as y dash or i can write it out as y divided by 2 whole divided by what will be the answer then whole divided by again in the first case opposite side is r by 2 opposite side is r by 2 divided by adjacent side you consider it as y you simplify this equation okay you simplify this equation to get the answer you will be getting the answer as since i am not having a, enough space i can write the answer alone the answer that you are able to get on simplifying this see this k this k will get cancelled this q square q square is can cancel r square will be moving to the see r square divided by on the left hand side you will be getting r square divided by r dash square is equal to here also by simplifying you can able to get 2 r dash divided by r so on simplifying this you will be getting the answer as r cube divided by r dash cube is equal to 2 so i am writing it here see you are able to get r cube divided by r dash cube is equal to 2 you are asked to calculate r dash so i am writing r dash cube is equal to r cube divided by 2 so r dash what is r dash r dash is equal to cube root so uh, uh, cube root of r cube is r divided by cube root of this value 2 so this we are calling it out as what this we are calling or considering it as the answer so option b as the answer see in order to work out this you take your uh, notebook and simplify it you take your notebook and try to simplify what are the things that i have written it here then you can able to do what then you can able to get the answer okay so this we are taking it as question number six